In an exciting historical discovery from the Middle East, a crusader sword was unearthed over the weekend off the coast of Israel. Yaakov Sharvet, the director of the Marine Archaeology Unit at the Israeli Antiquities Authority, commented on the sword's preservation. It was amazing, amazing to see a beautiful sword like this. That means that behind all the conglomerate uh, shells and uh, stones that we have underneath, there is a, a real good preservation uh, sword uh, made of iron, most of it made of iron, uh, except probably the handle, which usually were made of uh, wood or any other uh, uh, material. Pretty cool stuff, right? An Israeli scuba diver was swimming off the Carmel coast of Israel when he noticed the sword hidden in the sand beneath the water. The Israel Antiquity Society determined that the three-foot-long blade is roughly 900 years old, meaning that the sword likely saw action in the Crusades of the Middle Ages. Now, the Crusades were some of the most epic battles ever fought in history, pitting Christians against Muslims for control of the Holy Land. The First Crusade began in 1095 and culminated with the Christian capture of Jerusalem in the summer of 1099. Western Christians held the city until the late 12th century and were finally driven from the Holy Land by the Mamluk Turks in 1291. The sword's age and style suggest it was used by Christians in that first siege of the Holy City in 1099. The Israeli Antiquity Society acknowledged the good condition of the sword, saying in a statement that it is a beautiful and rare find and evidently belonged to a crusader knight. Visit FISM.TV news for more content.